Here's how you import the Griffith College Harvard referencing style into your Zotero library. If you go to your edit menu here, come down to preferences. Make sure on site and come down to get additional styles here, this link here. Type in Griffith. And there you are. So that's now imported. So I'm going to show you how you get that set up in your Word document now. So if you click on your Zotero tab there, come to Document Preferences, choose Griffith College Harvard there. You'll remember it from the last time. You'll only need to do that once. So now I'm just going to show how you would maybe bring in a book. I could click and navigate it here in the classic view. Do a search within here in the folders, or if you know what you're looking for, you could just find it there. So I'll just show you a couple of other examples here as well that might be handy to have a look at. So the next item here, we have uh, an article just with one author. And if you look here, if there was multiple authors on it, it would include the et al for you. It would do that automatically for you. Um, I'm going to click on my Add and Edit Bibliography and it'll import them there in the Griffith Harvard referencing style. So you'll notice if there is a DOI, it will include it here. That's just basically a digital identifier, just like a static place online where you will always find that article. And it's best practice to use that. That's why we've included it in our referencing style. But if you're using the academic databases, um, it'll it'll work. It'll do most of that work for you. Okay. And if you look here at the online resources, just to show you, it'll this is really where it can be very helpful. Um, it will. So you have your author, your year, the title, and it'll tell you the web page that that was got from and the access date. Just to finish up, I just want you to remember now that it is a fantastic tool, but it is not a magic wand. You do have to take responsibility for your own records to look correct and that they conform to our Griffith College referencing style. You can find a copy of that on our library pages online. You will find there will be times when records won't improve, won't import correctly. You might not have the author or a date or something like that. Something simple, really simple to fix that in your Zotero library. And there's other videos online there for you to have a look at to make sure that you know how to do that. But it really is very, very simple.